be covered. I mean, Earl is, I get emotional about this because Earl is one of the top mentors in my life and the things that he taught me. Um, he was very difficult on me my first two years. My goal was to survive practice without an ass chewing and it didn't happen. <laughs> Not once, literally. So he had this kind of good cop, bad cop thing. He was the bad cop and his recruiting coordinator, Bob, Mc, Bob McNay, was the good cop. So Earl would just undress me every single practice. And as a young quarterback, I, I figured it out later. Like that was the goal. Like if, if I could survive practice with him, then I could play on Saturdays. But if you couldn't survive him and his heat, no chance. So Bob McNay would go to dinner with me and he would sit with me invariably once or twice a week. And he'd be patting me on the shoulder. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're gonna be fine. And I'm like, man, I can't do anything right. Like, I mean, it's like every day. And they knew what was going on. Um, but I realized after the fact 